successful. I remember speaking with her on Monday, early hours on Tuesday, early hours in the morning on Tuesday, she had given up. I have an issue right now. And it's taking my life. I'm not going to die. We'll get over it. We'll get over it. Hi, everyone. It's with great sadness I bring to you the passing of Ada Amer. She's a veteran Nollywood actress and people love her a lot. I just woke up this morning and saw the news all over the internet. And in this interview, she did it with Trudy. And I'll drop the link in the description just in case you want to watch the full interview. Here she talked about her daughter, talked about what happened to her and how she passed. She passed 2020, so barely a year ago. And now she's dying as well. In fact, she, I also saw another interview where she said she lost three siblings, three brothers and three sisters. And I'm like, how will one person go through all that pain and grief? Losing only one family member is a lot. Talk more of a couple of them and even your only child. Life can be so cruel. And she also said she had mental issues. And she was like, people will not even understand because you got to wear a shoe to know exactly where it hurts. And to be honest with you, I, I don't even know how she was able to come back and still do movies and stuff. But she said something. She was like, she would usually take a lot of alcohol just to bury that pain, bury that grief and attend functions and do movies. And I'm like, wow. Alcohol is not the answer. If you're dealing with mental issues, you need to seek help. You need therapy. You need proper counseling. And sometimes you even need some medications that can help you. You know, so even on her Instagram, she says she was in and out of hospital. And yesterday she even posted something like, <laughs> I don't know, this is a time for us to reflect because you can see someone today and tomorrow the person is no more. Even you as a person, you can be here doing stuff today and tomorrow it's over. So let's just use this time to reflect on our own lives and make decisions, positive decisions that will probably keep us here or keep us in right standing with God so that if today is our last, so be it. You know? And they said um, she went to like a function, the oil company thing, and she slumped in the event. And news says she died of a heart attack because they took her to the hospital and they tried to bring her back. But unfortunately, she was pronounced dead. And that was it. It's so sad. Like, it's so, so sad. Life is so fragile. Let's just use this to reflect. I just thought to drop this here and I pray God gives her, I don't know, someone told me her mom is still alive. <laughs> I'm like, God, why will one person have to go through all of this? Losing some kids, losing grandkids, man, I can't even wrap my head around it. But I just pray God gives them the grace to go through this hard, really, really hard time. And if you're dealing with mental health issues, please seek help, okay? Seek help. Go to therapy, go for counseling, get some medications because life is hard enough. It's like life is hard enough. So I just thought to drop this here. Thank you so much for watching.